welcome to Isha Training Solutions. This is Kumar Gupta, and in this video, we're gonna see the difference between the web submit data, the LR function called web submit data, and the LR function called web submit form. So we're gonna see the difference between web submit data. This is an LR function and web submit form okay well uh, pretty much both of these functions will be used for the same purpose for handling usually uh, the post request uh, you know whenever you are sending some data like username and password to the server uh, you can either use one of these functions which is web submit data or web submit form it's not that you can use it the when you record it the region automatically creates the functions okay but we'll have a closer look at where and how these functions will be used so for this let me go and create a script okay so web submit data and web submit form let me create the script name as that okay so let's gonna record uh, uh, let's create couple of actions in the first uh, action will will do a web submit data and the next action will do a web submit form so I'm gonna call this action as uh, submit data or web submit data okay okay so let me go ahead and record it appropriately I'm going to use the standard web tools application for this so let me go ahead and record it so in order for you to record or you in order for you for the region to record a particular post request as web submit data there are certain settings that you have to do so you go to the recording options from here and then in the HTML in the HTML advanced you can go and here it's going to tell you like you know uh, uh, which of the options you're going to use the web submit form and uh, web submit data so what did I do I went to the HTML based script and in the HTML advanced there are two options the script type there are two options if you go with the first option it's going to record uh, the generally the get request with web link and the post request with web submit form and here if you want to use the second option then most of the post request is going to use the web submit data okay and uh, it, theoretically it says even the get request you know it will use the web submit data but I haven't seen that uh, but that is little debatable so I'm going to leave that over there uh, but you're going to use this second option which is the script contain explicit URL only remember this in the advanced HTML in the script type you use this option called a script containing explicit URLs only when you use this option then the recording happens with web submit data and in the HTML advanced in the advanced HTML in the script type you use script describing user options then it's going to use the web submit form I'm specifically uh, 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 mentioning this because in the interview that they, they're gonna ask this most of the interviews seen these days is gonna asking this question so when they ask this question you should be able to clearly explain when uh, the, the Vuegen will record the script using web submit data and when the Vuegen will record the script using web submit form so when they say script containing explicit URLs only this is when uh, the Vuegen uh, will use the web submit data and whenever you select the URL based by default it will use the web submit data which I'm not going to demonstrate it in the class uh, in, in this in this particular video but you can do it yourself okay so <clears throat> In the HTML, when you use the second option, a script contain explicit URLs, that's when it will use the web submit data, or you go to the URL based, it will use the web submit data. <coughs> Let me go ahead and start recording. Simple login log, uh, logout is what I will record. now you pay a little bit of attention you see web submit data is got recorded so yes how it got recorded again I'm gonna show it to you you go to HTML advanced you use the second option in the script type you use the second options called script containing explicit URLs you know get this into your mind because in the interview they, they will ask you or if you go to the URL based as well uh, it will use the web submit data 
so uh, we'll we'll i uh, will create one more action i'll i'll go ahead and uh, create this url based script as well okay so <clears throat> just that you know you can you can be absolutely sure that it is using web submit data so that's the login and then the sign off and then stop recording so in the url base you're going to see this is the url base script that got generated and here for the login request you see the web submit data whenever there is a post request typically it will be web submit data okay so that's what uh, it got recorded so yes so there are two ways in which it will be web submit data in the html based advanced in the script type script contain explicit urls or the url based now we will see when it will use the web submit form <coughs> so go to the recording options go to html go to the first step in the script type a script describing user options select that option So I will go ahead and record the same thing, uh, which is uh, launch, login, and lockout. Sometimes when you go out with this setting, you know it will have some issues. You know, especially in my system, you know I, I face usually a lot of issues. Uh, but it typically, you know, you go with this first option in the real time in the real projects as well. Not many performance testers use this option. Uh, uh, you know for you know it will create this kind of issues you know certain times it will record certain times it will not record yeah it, now it's it's going ahead and recording i hope uh, we have used the right option yes so web submit form now you see the request is uh, uh, the, the post request is uh, uh, generated using this lr function called web submit form so <clears throat> that's that's one of the difference now so we looked at the difference as to depending on the recording options the script that is generated it could be web submit data by it could be generated using the lr function called web submit data or web submit form usually usually it's a url based script it's a web submit data or in the html advanced you go with the specific explicit urls then it's web submit data otherwise it's web submit form so is this the only difference no is this the only difference that uh, the 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 interviewer is expecting from you um, um, no uh, uh, let's let's look at the other uh, difference you know uh, the underlying difference which the interviewer is expecting from you so let's look at that for that I'll get more help on this web submit data so click on that and click F1 so that you get more help on that so let me go to the plain layout so that I can have a complete better look at it you see the web submit data performs an unconditional and contextless form submission okay contextless what does that mean okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna use the notepad for that so you have to have a little bit of uh, uh, sorry I'm gonna use the paint for that so for for me to explain this contextless uh, contextless you you have to have a little bit of architecture knowledge so assuming that you have a little bit of architecture knowledge and uh, if you have attended my uh, course my online courses or you have uh, listened to my recorded uh, videos definitely you would have a lot of knowledge on the architecture application architecture and client and server so i'm not going to explain what is client what is server and all that assuming that you have a little bit of architecture knowledge so i'm going to go with that so usually when wherever we're talking about the web application the client is the browser and the server is uh, the http server or um, the web server and here when I said server, you know, you have again app server, database server. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about all that. So I'm going to put a server over here from the client, from the client. Let's say you are the client. You are requesting a uh, certain thing on the server. Okay. Let's say the launch page, the server will give you the launch page to the client. Now as a client, then what you would do is you send a login request. You will send a login request again i'm assuming that you have the architecture knowledge that's why you know i'm going too fast or i'm going way too fast okay so now you send the login request the server will not know that you know it's you 
even though you already sent the launch request and the server has sent you uh, given you back the launch request now as a client you are sending the login request for the server again you know they do the server will not understand will not any will not keep any information of you the client is let's say you who is from the browser you're sending this request so let's say you are kumar so the kumar is sending this launch request server has sent back that launch request and server will not remember anything about you as a kumar now as a kumar you send a login request server will not remember anything that anything even though it has transacted with you earlier it will not keep any information of you it will not remember anything of you it will treat you as a completely completely new request so this is what we call it as contextless or stateless stateless or context contextless so <clears throat> contextless so the server doesn't know anything about you you know even though you are frequently sending the request you know it's it doesn't know that you know it's you so for the server to know that it's you it will use typically something like sessions or session ids okay now <clears throat> now when you're looking at the web submit data it is contextless form form submission so assuming that the server doesn't know anything about it it will send the request the web submit form it's a contextless so it is sending the request so typically since it is contextless there should be some way that the server knows should know that it is you so it 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 involves the session ids so typically if you go back and look at the recording where the web submit data is web submit data is okay so if you go back over here yeah web submit data is there is a session that is usually involved there is a session that is involved because it is contextless because it is contextless as you can see here it is they clearly mentioned that it's contextless okay assuming that the server doesn't know anything so it's completely contextless it is sending the request for the server to know it's you so it has to send the session id as well so that's what it is contextless and usually it involves not mandatory but usually it involves session ids now if you go back and pay a little bit of attention for the web submit form web submit form let me see it's a, this is the web submit form okay if you pay a little bit of attention this is the web submit form no okay this is a url based so let me see where is the web submit form let me go to the default layout yeah this is the web submit form and usually you see the web submit form let's let's go get a little bit of information on the web submit form you see it submits a form but here we are not talking about any context or anything so let's go a little more let's go it deeper into it let's get more information about it the web submit form function is an action that for submits the form even the web submit data does the same thing but what is it difference is the web submit form function may be executed only in the context of the previous operation so in the context of the previous operation it will does so the, 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 from the client you know uh, from the client side you know oh, in the context of previous session so the, the previous session you know it has submitted uh, the, the the launch page assuming that you know the server knows it or the context is set it will send okay i'm looking i'm uh, referring to the la, uh, la, okay the wrong one so assuming that you know the server knows it or from the client side you know it's already been sent so in in the context of this you are sending this request to the server so uh, it need not have to specifically send the session id and that's exactly what happened here okay so assuming that the server already knows in the context of the previous session that's exactly what it is saying over here okay so assume and you see the web submit function may be executed only in the context of the previous operation so in the context of the previous operation the server knows that you know it's a client and the client knows that it's a server so in that context you know you're sending that request to specifically you need not have to send the session ids in this case because um, you know you're sending in the context it's not the stateless or contextless you know assuming that you know the server already knows what you are in that context you are sending that request so uh, you know you don't specifically need the session ids and that's 
that's the reason why you're not sending the session IDs. So when you, whether you uh, execute this request, it will pass, or whether you execute this request, it will pass. But here the correlation is required. Here the correlation is not required in this case, and just happen that way. Okay, the correlation is not the difference. The difference is assuming that you know the previous operation in the context of it, you are sending this request or so session ID is not required. But here it's completely. It has nothing to do with the previous operation what has happened and all that's uh, assuming that server doesn't know anything about it it has to send the request which means that it has to send the user session along with that so that's the major difference and that's what uh, the interviewer is expecting you to answer uh, in terms of difference okay the difference is about the context here the previous operation it's a contextless it has nothing to do with the previous operation but web submit form assuming that you know the uh, as per the previous operation you know uh, the context is set and based on that context okay uh, the, the the web submit form is executed only in the context of the previous form so in the in the context of the previous operation the web submit form is assumed so that's the major difference but the minor difference or one of the other difference is how how this web submit form is used your first option web submit form second option with explicit url web submit data or url based is also web submit data so assuming that you know i made this concept clear um, I'm stopping this video. I hope you know you enjoyed this video, understood this video. But this is one of the popular interview question. A lot of interviewers are asking. So, <clears throat> well, um, this this video is brought to you by from brought to you brought to you by Isha Training Solutions, and this is Kumar Gupta here. Um, and uh, you can look into my latest uh, courses. You know, I have created a new course called. Uh, uh, performance testing using SAP GUI protocol. You can enroll uh, for that uh, course and uh, for enrolling you just need to WhatsApp me on this number 801-995-2427. Okay, thank you and uh, see you in the next video.